Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today, hello, this video is going to be me doing my first impressions using the Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde palette. Now let me ju just get this straight. I've had this palette for almost a year. I had it since April and I haven't touched it except swatched it. I swatched it and that was it. I did not put one colour on my eye. Um, it's been sitting in my drawer because it did not fit into my schedule back then but it does now it got top priority this year um, and when I say I love this palette already I already love this palette with this look in love having such mermaid vibes hence the necklace um, I love it uh, I will be doing swatches in a few minutes um, a few minutes a few seconds and yeah I can say already that I do really like the palette I like the textures the mattes are fabulous these shimmers are stunning but the mattes blend better than most Huda shadows blend. Yeah, it's one of the better matte formulas from Huda. Um, this is the colour scheme, which I've realised now that I forgot to show you. That's it there. That's how it looks. It's a beautiful, slightly pastel, but a little bit jewel toned as well. There's a couple of neutrals thrown in as well if you want to. But it's majority colour, but in a soft way. Colour in a soft way way you could get very soft coloured looks I have a quite a colourful look on and I really really like it and I probably will do a softer kind of look as well with it but yeah spoiler alert I love it let's move on to some swatches okay so for swatches I'm gonna do them on my arm like I always usually do and I'm gonna just swatch along with my finger no primer there is nothing on my arm it's, there's nothing going on here um, and we're just gonna go row by row and I'll just give a little description of the colours you'll see them all in depth anyway but I just like to get a little feel for them myself on the arm and give you a little description of what the colours actually are on my skin anyway Um, so let's start up here with cosmic it's a shimmer it's a pink shimmer and it's quite a light pink shimmer that's it there on the arm or on the finger. So it's quite a soft pink. It looks a little bit stronger in the pan than it does on the skin. But I'm not saying it doesn't look pigmented. It's definitely pigmented. It's just that it's not as pink as it looks, if that makes sense. Um, the shine definitely comes out a lot more in it. And I really like how it looks. I have a very nice idea with that look already in mind. I love that when I get a palette and I'm doing my first impressions but I'm also thinking of other things I can do with it already. It means it's a good palette for me. Next up then is the matte here. It's called Utopia. So you could just see there. I give it a couple of swirls just because that's how I would normally swatch. They're definitely a softer, like a thinner kind of matte formula. They're not too heavy or chalky or anything like that. They're very smooth and silky. Um, and I think that's what helps it blend quite well. But yeah, that's a nice peach, like a true, to me that, that is a true peach. It's not too coral, not too pink, not too orange, a peach. That is a peach to me. Next up then is ultraviolet, which is this purpley kind of tone here. I'm trying not to blind you with the lights, but I also realise you do have to get the sheen on them as well. So that's ultraviolet. Very pretty on the finger. Be lovely over a black base, actually, that'd be a nice look. So this one doesn't really have much of a base colour to it. It's more of like a topper sparkle kind of thing. Um, I would definitely, if I was going to use this as an actual shimmer on the eye, probably use a black base with that. Um, if I wanted to, like the way I've got the shimmers on here, I would use a black base to get the effect that I really want to with it. The purpley shimmer though of it is beautiful and it'd be nice layered over things, but I would definitely use a black base. Next up then is Nebula, one I'm very excited for. It's the sparkliest eyeshadow in the whole palette. And it's, you could argue it's a press glitter, but I don't think it's a press glitter. It doesn't feel or look like one, even though it's so sparkly. It just, I don't know, it goes on way too smooth to be a press glitter. Like it's not chunky, it's not, like you can't see my skin through it as much as you would with a press glitter. Maybe it's a glitter shadow hybrid or something like that. But to me, I would say it's not a press glitter, but it has elements of press glitters, but it also has elements of shadow. So I think it's a hybrid. It's definitely like a more bluey, silvery sort of tone. When you look in the pan, it's definitely got a little bit of like a blue, purple and silver kind of effect to it very pretty next up then is another one that i'm very excited about in the palette this one is mercury and it's a 
blue duochrome it's another one that i would say would look really really beautiful over a black base but this one still has some background color compared to this other one here again it's more for the sparkles what you'd be using it not necessarily the main color i'm going to do another dip of that just so you can see it layered up because obviously with the kind of topper style that it is just to see the color properly it will build if you really want it to but it's it's definitely still on the topper side of things it's got more of a duochrome a kind of reflects like when i look at it like this i can see pink but then when i'm looking at it head on i can see more blue and teal it's fabulous though and i have a very exciting look with these two in mind and then next up is the first one in the palette that i have on my face it is called haze it's the matte um teal aqua 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 i kept calling it teal like i kept calling it green i kept calling it blue i don't know it's a mix of them all but this is stunning this is so look how pigmented that is for that kind of a color that's really nice it's stunning on the eyes blends really easy like the other matte blends really really easy i didn't have a lot of work to do with this especially for, with it being with it being that kind of color on my skin tone sometimes get a bit of a bruisey sort of look but i didn't with this and i did top it with a shimmer as well um yeah i really like how that looks it's very pretty moving on then is off balance here this is like a rosy pink kind of similar kind of color to my lip except a little bit lighter um it's a row i would say like a dusky rose kind of color it's a matte as well and this one here i find same sort of texture as the other matte they just go on so smooth i can't get over it but it's definitely more pigmented i would say by looking at it i would say you you get more pigment out of that instantly like instantly you get more pigment out of that but it still has that same thinner silkier kind of formula very pretty then we've got the shade galaxy which i also am very excited to put into a look i think i think i have some sort of a plan with this one but i'm just very excited it's kind of like a rose gold um so shiny like look how shiny that is super shiny and metallic yeah definitely a rose gold that's that's exactly how i would describe it rose gold but so sparkly and shiny very nice this is where you could pull in your more neutral tones you could do this with the peachy color or this with the rosy color if you wanted to maybe do this on the inner corner there is a couple more like more neutral shades in the palette which we'll get to in a sec but yeah it's nice having a little mix and i do like if i'm going for a neutral shimmer i love that kind of color then we're moving on to libra which i also have on my eyes it's my transition shade for this look and this is like a lilac i would say it's a little bit less pigmented now than say that rosy shade is and the green would be just as pigmented as this color here um beautiful such a good blend on this had such an easy time blending this out and building it up because you didn't need a lot to build it up still even though it's a little bit less pigmented than the other ones but i just think that the colors the shimmers everything beautiful then we're going into the definitely more neutrals in the palette so we've got the shade crash which is like a i would say a taupe yeah i would definitely say a taupe it's definitely got a bit of like a pinky gray sort of effect to it that was two swipes two dips into the product there um still definitely on the rosier side like it's not as gray as most taupes are so i would say it's leaning on the taupe side but not quite full taupe um definitely would be beautiful with that galaxy shade is that what it's called galaxy yes um beautiful with that kind of color just get a nice every day but still very glam sort of look i really like that color that's a very nice color then we've got the shade momentum which is kind of just like a nude color i don't know if you're going to be able to really see that has a peachiness so it depends on your skin tone like for me that's not light enough for a brow highlight for me that would definitely be somewhat of a transition shade for me if you're very 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 dark you'll probably use that as a brow highlight if it's not too ashy but because it has a peachy undertone i don't think it would be if you're more of like a mid-tone or like a medium dark or say like nc40 or something like that it would definitely be a brow highlight for you but you might use it even just to maybe not as a transition shade but like to blend out other colors if that makes sense it's nice for me it's not necessarily in the palette i could have done with maybe a i don't know a blue matte 
that's dark. I don't know, something like that. Maybe. It's just something a bit different. But um, yeah, I don't necessarily need it. But it's okay that it's there. It's fine. I can get over it. Next then is another shade that I have on right now. This is Super Moon, which is the kind of whitish colour here. But this reflects all sorts. All sorts. At the minute it's reflecting blue because I've got blue on with it. Um, so this here just... It's going to be hard to see because it's definitely a topper. You'll only... There you go. There she is. Look at her. There she is. Um, it kind of can reflect pink, green, blue purple all those all the jazz everything and it's like a whitish base Um, i have it topped over that bluey greeny kind of color then we're going to go into the shade vortex down here i'm going to use my baby finger and this is like it's purple but it'll work for everything in this palette trust me trust me it's that kind of purple that will work And you can definitely build it. Like that's still really pigmented for that kind of colour. How smooth it goes on. But then let's do another one. You see what I mean? It'll go dark for you if you really want to. It's very hard to see. It'll go dark if you really want to. But I find this kind of colour. I'll be able to do a purple look with this. No problem. I'll also be able to pair that in with the greens as well. Because it has that little bit of a blue in it. Because it's a purple. Um, and then because it's a purple and has a bit of red in it. I can wear with peachy colours if I really want to. It might take a bit more work. But I could I can, I can, could make that work. I can make it work. And then another shade that I have on right now. I, I have a lot of shades on, in this. I tried to use as many as I could. This is Hot Mess. Which is this kind of a deeper more muted pink. But it's stunning. Like look at it. That's such a beautiful pink on the eyes that's what she looks like there it's a softer kind of dark pink but it's still a dark pink and you still get the punch and you can still get a bit of depth if you can see on my eye there uh really nice blends beautifully this and this blend in should like a dream um i'm loving it loving the palette i understand now why people talk about this palette so much and also why people feel like it's underrated because it is to me now that I've used it at least once, already I can see why people talk about it so much. Moving on then to Supernova. Another one that I have on my eye. This is my lid colour right now. And this looks wet. This looks, could be copper, could be pink, could be gold. Depends on what you put with it. It's a duochrome or a trichrome, maybe. I don't know. Um, where will I put this? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this here. Look at that. Can you see the flashes that you're getting from me? You get, might get pink, you might get copper. Looks a bit more copper. No, actually looks a bit more pink with the colours that I have on now. But yeah, look at it. Look at it. It's so pretty. So pretty. Oh my gosh. Um, very nice. So smooth. Although it's so sparkly, it's so smooth that it looks just wet on the eye when you're putting it on. I do have glitter primer on with these, but it's not necessary completely. Um, But I just always like, I like putting, I like the texture of my lids with glitter primer on when I'm putting shimmers in. Then again, moving on to Karma, this one here is more of a warmer neutral, like a terracotta kind of colour. Um, we're going up here again, aren't we? Like them two together, beautiful, stunning. Oh, what, what more could you want? Like all of these, they'll all work together. You just have to find the right way and the right kind of look to pair them with. But that matte is stunning. That's definitely more pigmented matte as well, kind of like the way these two are. That one's like that as well. And then the second last one is Gold Glitch. This feels or seems a bit more like the same texture as Supermoon. It's a bit more of like a foiled effect. And you'll see now on my thingy. Look at that. Um, oh yeah, we're up here. Keep forgetting. So this is a gold that's very sparkly but still foiled. Like it's not like chunky. It's foiled but it has flecks of pink in it. Which I think is a really nice touch. Especially with the tones in this palette. You could do an all pink look. But had the gold on the lid. And it would be so beautiful. And really kind of flirty looking. Very pretty. I really like that. And then the very last one is Frazzled. And this one here is a duochrome as well. It's kind of a more brown. Coppery bronzy base. That kind of reflects a little bit of green. Like it's not a strong duochrome. Definitely not. But when it hits the light in certain angles, you get that little flash of green through it. So pretty. That little colour palette right there. That'd be a nice little quad. Mm. 
I really like that. That out of these ones, my favorite color, I think so far. And I think um, I'm liking this one. Obviously, Nebula. And let's pick a matte. Ooh, we'll go for a uh, hot mess. Is that what you're called? Hot mess. Yeah, the kind of pinky one down here. I really like those ones. Um, but yeah, that's a nice little color palette actually. Mm, I might do that together. Okay, guys. So that is the swatches. That's the intro kind of on swatches. Um, this is the palette that we're going to be using for the first impressions. Let's see what my thoughts are. These are your swatches. So you have something to go by as well. Alrighty guys, so let's get in to my first impressions using the Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde palette. The packaging is stunning. I love um, this kind of container. Even though it's plastic, I prefer a cardboard, but I love the shine off it compared to other ones that I have. And it's another, what is it? 9918 nine, shade palette. Um, try not to blind you with my lights, but yeah. I have an idea as to something that I want to do. I don't know how my lighting is looking again. I know obviously in my last video I had a certain type of lighting. I've tried to kind of brighten it a little bit more. I don't know if I'm super pale now. I don't know until I watch it back. So we're just going to go with that and just bear with me until I get this all right. Um, so yeah, what I'm feeling today is kind of the lilac-y kind of colour. Maybe a bit of the mauve pink and this darker pink down here but I definitely want to use this minty shade and one of the shimmers at least maybe this pink shimmer as well actually hmm. we're going to do something with that anyway so let's start I already have my face on and I've already done my brows and primed my eyes so let's start so we're going to start with a big fluffy brush this is a lavender looks number what number are you number five brush from BH Cosmetics just a big big fluffy brush I'm actually going to zoom you guys in a little bit more just so you can see a little bit better um, and we're going to take the shade Libra which is that kind of lavender lilac -y sort of shade it's very light um, but I imagine on my skin it's going to come out a little bit deeper um, but that's just going to go in the crease and bringing that all along the crease as well this feels weird this is my first tutorial I'm filming in the new year um, Ireland went back into lockdown again so I have more time again I'm still gonna try and stick to just one video a week because I don't want to do like oh five videos a week and then all of a sudden stop because I'm back in work so I'd rather have a set schedule and then I'll add videos to that if I want to here and there but for January I'm definitely gonna stick to just the five Um, every Saturday is the sort of schedule that I'm gonna be working on as far as I can see there I definitely have planned in like I think in February I'm going to be doing two videos in two weeks running up to it because I've smaller kind of palettes I want to use so I can do a bit more with those um yeah I just I want to give myself a chance to actually enjoy filming and enjoy and also have some free time as well which I felt like I didn't have over Christmas so I feel like if I do this and when we do go back into work I can edit and relax and not be in a stress and not be super tired going into work and not having to get up three hours early before work just to edit and then editing until like two o'clock in the morning when I'm supposed to be up at five or six or seven or eight so just to give me a chance and also I feel like the quality of the videos would be a little bit better if I give myself a little bit more time I don't know why I'm rambling about this sort of time anyway this color is beautiful very nice tone of purple I actually really like that it's not too um blue as well it kind of has a bit of a pinky undertone into it which I really like and then I'm gonna take that same shade again I'm gonna work on my lower lash line as I go this is a MAC 513 SES brush it's from the Christmas collection I got a set of them um and it's just like a small little angle stubby brush um whatever small brush you have it's actually a really nice shaped brush but whatever sort of uh, brush you have for underneath I'm gonna bring this about halfway across my lower lash line that same purple shade because I have an idea as to where I want the blue to go okay so then we're gonna go a little bit darker in color this is hot mess here I say a little bit darker this is actually slightly it's a bit more warm so it would look a bit darker on the skin but we're gonna go for hot mess here which is a bit more of a muted pink slightly darker pink and I'm taking this also a lavender luxe brush this is a number eight it's like a pinched version of what we just used so it's a little bit smaller a bit more precise and this is gonna go 
in the crease just to deepen it up gives a little bit more dimension on the eye I have to say I do really like these kind of palettes from Huda then I'm taking just this teeny weeny little brush um, I, I got it on eBay in a set of brushes on eBay and I'm going back in with that hot mess shade and we're going to pop this on the lower lash line very close to the lashes like on top just to deepen it this color could go very warm if you wanted it to but because i used the lilac -y shade it's gone a little bit cooler right so we are getting a flawless blend um yeah th that was kind of effortless and that's kind of as dark as i think i'm gonna go with it um i was gonna use maybe a darker color but no i think i'm okay with this for the kind of look i have in mind so what I'm going to do now is we're going to work on another matte shade, but this is going to be Haze, which is the kind of a minty, sea foamy, bluey, greeny, whatever colour you want to call it. Um, and we're going to use that on also from Lavender Look set. This is a number six brush. It's the smallest, skinnier kind of blending brush. We're going to take a little bit of that shade, which you would have seen all the swatches of these anyway in the beginning. But this is going to go on the inner part of the eye. This is a matte finish, so I will have a shine on top of it. But this is just going to go in. And I don't want to like bring it up higher than the purple that's in the crease. I actually kind of want it to look like it's just on the lid. And I kind of brought this in as far as like where my iris is when I'm looking straight ahead. Um, and I might wrap it around my inner corner as well, which I think I'm going to do right now. Um, but I'm also going to bring that on the lower lash line as well. So that's why I only went halfway with the purple. So we're going to dab a bit of this on the inner corner. Just get the colour on first, then you can blend out all your edges. And yes, it's quite intense. Taking some of that and then just run that in the lower lash line. You can always use a smaller brush, which I might switch to in a second to get a bit more precise. But I just want to get a little bit blended on. Okay, and then once I have that on, I just want to blend it a little bit more. So I'm going to take a number seven brush from the Lavender Look. I'm using a lot of the brushes from this set. And we're just going to go in and blend it. I have nothing on this. It's just to soften out all the edge around here. Just to take away the super intenseness of that colour. Because I am going to pop a shimmer over top of it. You can always add back in some colour if you lose more than you want to. But I just want to get in and give that a good soften. Okay, so you look very weird, but I quite like it. When am I not looking weird? It doesn't matter what time of the year it is. So now what I'm going to do is to work on the lid. So for the lid shade, I was between two colours um, at first. I was going to do Cosmic, which is the really light pinky kind of colour, which would look fabulous. But I actually want to use this one down here. It has a bit more pink when it hits the light. It's called Supernova. Um, You can kind of see it there. Um, It's a duochrome, very nice. But I want to use a glitter primer, obviously. So my NYX Glitter Primer is what we're going to go with now. And I'm going to take a little bit of that on the back of my hand. And just take any e.l.f. flat brush. This is an e.l.f. concealer brush. Something like that. Take a little bit of that. Glitter Primer. Start on the lid. As where you want most of your colour, most of the shimmer to be. Then I'm taking just the tiniest little bit, whatever is kind of left on it, and we're just going to pop that over the green. Because I'm also going to put a shimmer there, and I do want it to be quite intense. So with that same brush, we're going to go in to Supernova down here. Uh, just picking some of that up on the brush, and we're just going to press that on the eye. The shimmers nests are so interesting. Like, they kind of smush in as if they're, like, really flaky, but they're not flaky. Ooh. That's pretty. Kind of has like a coppery base to it, but when you can see there kind of hits the light, you get that sheen of pink, which I like. And bring it right out as far as where it meets the um, mats on the outside. We can blend them into each other in a second. And I'm only bringing it in as far as where it starts to meet the green in there. It's a very weird look, but sure look. Then just going back in with the shade Hot Mess, the darkest matte that we use, and just tap over it where it meets the shimmer just to get a nice little blend going on here. Then I'm actually going to go in with the brush I used to blend out the green for no apparent reason, just because it's the most clean. 
um, and we're gonna go in to the shade i might use my finger in a minute but i'll try it with the brush super moon which is this white down here but it kind of reflects all different colors so you can kind of use it with whichever colors you want in the palette um i can see a lot of like pink and kind of a tealy color so i think that'd be nice with this and i'm just gonna press that on top of that green and the green is there to give us the green hint in the background but i do want it to be nice and shiny as well just taking a little bit of this on my baby finger that same color and we're just gonna go over the bottom as well just so that the color looks the same all the way around you can use a brush if you want to but it's very twinkly and i like it okay i'm loving it i'm loving it these shimmers are beautiful these colors are beautiful the blend is fab i can't get over how easy that was to blend so i think i'm gonna go i'm gonna jump off we're gonna do the eyes and i'll probably pop my skin on as well because it's not really a get rid of it me it's more of just a trying out the palette and focus on the palette and i'll just let you know then what i used on my face and yeah let's see how we get on Alrighty guys so this is how i have finished off the look i fiddle with the lights a little bit more so i don't know we'll see how that looks <laughs> um it's a little bit cooler toned the light so maybe it comes up a little bit more accurate to how it looks irl um let me quickly go through everything that i used on the rest of my face i love how this look turned out by the way um so from eyes i used my la girl shockwave neon eyeliner in the shade fresh it basically matches that bluey green perfectly so that i use that then for my mascara i used my essence get big lashes mascara and uh, as far as my lashes goes i use the la splash dauntless lashes these are in the style stunner they're a little bit longer on the outside but they don't completely take over the eye there's a little feather on the end which i really like as far as my cheeks go then i used my nyx blush in taupe and i just use that to contour my face i'm using a new foundation today by the way this is the zoeva authentic skin i'll have it listed down below the shade that i'm using as well it's not i don't think it's the lightest shade i think it's the next one from that it's like 0 20 um this is like a bang on like look look there's no difference this is a bang on match it's very pale but i am very pale so yeah i, I and i really like how it looks on the skin so could be a winner but then for my blush, I use my Benefit Dandelion blush. Um, it's just a very soft pink. Show you. Um, super soft, barely there kind of pinky color. Um, and I just use that just to give a little bit of color, but still tie in with the pinky tones that we have on the eyes. For my highlighter, then keep it with that pinky theme. I use my Makeup Geek highlighter in the shade Glitz, which is a kind of pinky toned highlighter. It's not a duochrome. It's just like a shimmer that has a pink tone to it. And that's my cheeks. And then for my lips, super simple. I used my Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Katsu Matte Lipstick. Um, it's this kind of rosy sort of mauvey pink sort of shade. It's in the shade Rebel Rose. So I used that is the main colour that's on my lips. And then I wanted to pink it up, cool it down a little bit more. And I went and did with my NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Eclair. Which is a bit more of a cool tone pink. So that is my face okay guys so that is the look i love how this turned out very easy look although there's a lot of colors and layering and stuff like that like the blend was so easy it did not take me long i didn't even have to think about it i didn't even need my up close mirror for a good bit of it which is weird because i'm blind so um yeah this is the first impressions with the mercury retrograde palette and i can't get it open <laughs> there we go um I am liking it so far. I really like it. I think the mattes are stunning. They blend very easy. You would have seen all the swatches at the beginning anyway to see all the other colours. And I will be doing a three lux one palette with this. I've already kind of have a couple of ideas for that. Um, so I'm having a good time with this palette. And if you do have the palette, I hope it gives you a little bit more inspo to use your palette. And a few more looks you can use with the palette. Um, and if not, then maybe it's something that was on your list. And maybe it's like, oh, maybe I will actually get it. Or maybe I won't actually get it if you don't like the kind of way the looks are new i don't know you can let me know down below in the comments if you have the palette did this give you a little bit of inspo for your palette or colors you already have yourself maybe it's not this palette but you have similar kind of colors do the look and let me know um also in the description box i will have my instagram linked the pictures of this look will go up a couple of days after the actual video goes live maybe the next day i don't know who knows um because i I, I i don't have a schedule it just kind of goes up so um whenever i have the pictures ready to go to go up they will go up 
after the video. I like to put it up after the video. So yeah, that's listed down below. So give that a follow and give me a big thumbs up down below. It's the easiest way to give me some support, to give me, get me around to more people, get me seen by more people. It's so simple. It's just one click of a button and that is it. And also hit subscribe down below to see more videos coming up. We've got many, 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 many more palettes coming up. So many palettes coming up. And I've also going to be continuing my uh, colour series at the end of the month as well. We're also going to go and do a little dip dive into my makeup collection. A little, little up close swatchy swatch of my makeup collection. And that should be starting next week as far as I can think. So yeah, I will see you in the next video guys. Bye.